Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this presentation we will study about advantages of SWRO process over thermal MSF, MED, and the energy efficiency of both process. Water quality consistency SWRO provides a consistent water quality output, which is important for industrial processes and water treatment applications where precise water specifications are required. MSF and MED thermal desalination processes can also produce high quality fresh water. Energy efficiency. SWRO is generally more energy efficient than thermal processes like MSF and MED. It typically requires 2.5 to 4.5 kilowatt hours per cubic meter. It requires lower temperatures and less energy to operate. In SWRO, energy is mainly needed to pressurize seawater, while in thermal processes, a significant amount of energy is consumed to heat and evaporate the water. MSF and MED MSF and MED are energy-intensive processes that involve heating seawater to produce steam, which is then condensed to obtain fresh water. These thermal processes can be much less energy-efficient, often requiring 10 to 15 kilowatt hours per cubic meter or more. Capital costs, SWRO. SWRO plants generally have lower capital costs compared to MSF and MED due to the simpler equipment and lower energy requirements. However, the upfront costs can vary depending on factors such as location, capacity, and feed water quality, MSF and MED, MSF and MED plants tend to have higher capital costs due to the complexity of the equipment required for heating, evaporation, and condensation processes. Operating and Maintenance Costs, SWRO SWRO plants have relatively lower operating and maintenance costs compared to thermal desalination processes. Regular membrane maintenance and replacement are primary ongoing costs. MSF and MED MSF and MED plants require higher operating and maintenance costs due to the need for heating elements, corrosion control, and the complexity of heat exchangers and distillation components. Scalability SWRO SWRO is highly scalable and can be adapted to various capacities, making it suitable for a wide range of applications from small-scale desalination plants to large industrial facilities MSF and MED. MSF and MED are less flexible in terms of scalability, and they are typically used in larger, centralized desalination plants. Lower Operating Temperature SWRO operates at relatively lower temperatures compared to thermal processes. This reduces the risk of scaling and fouling, which can be problematic in high temperature processes like MSF and MED. Modularity and scalability, SWRO systems are typically modular and easier to scale up or down based on demand. You can add or remove membrane modules as needed. Thermal processes are often less flexible and may require more significant infrastructure changes for adjustments. Reduced dependence on fuel prices, thermal desalination processes like MSF and MED are sensitive to fluctuations in fuel prices, as they require significant amounts of energy. 
SWRO's energy consumption is generally more stable and can be offset by renewable energy sources. Lower maintenance costs SWRO systems generally have lower maintenance costs because they are less prone to scaling and fouling. Thermal processes, on the other hand, require more maintenance and cleaning due to the high temperature operation. Quick startup and shutdown, SWRO systems can be started and shut down relatively quickly, which is important for meeting fluctuating demand. Thermal systems usually have longer startup and shutdown times. SWRO systems can be brought online faster than thermal systems, which can be crucial in emergency situations or when addressing sudden spikes in water demand. Reduced environmental impact on marine life, SWRO typically has a lower environmental impact on marine life compared to thermal processes, as it does not discharge hot brine into the sea, which can harm marine ecosystems. Low emissions of air pollutants, SWRO generates fewer air pollutants compared to thermal processes, which can contribute to better air quality in regions where emissions are a concern. Lower environmental impact, SWRO has a smaller carbon footprint because it consumes less energy compared to thermal processes. This can be an essential consideration in addressing climate change and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Reduced corrosion and scaling, the lower temperature operation of SWRO reduces the risk of corrosion in the equipment, which can be a significant issue in high temperature thermal processes. SWRO membranes are less prone to scaling compared to the high temperature components of thermal processes, which require regular maintenance to prevent these issues. Higher recovery rates, SWRO systems can achieve higher water recovery rates, meaning less water is wasted as brine. This can be important in regions where water conservation is a priority. Ability to integrate with renewable energy, SWRO can be easily integrated with renewable energy sources such as solar and wind power, allowing for sustainable and eco-friendly desalination operations. Comparison SWRO Membrane Process versus Thermal, MSF slash MED, SWRO, Lower Energy Requirement, Higher Water Recovery, Lowest Specific Energy Consumption, Lower CAPEX OPEX compared to MSF slash MED, Low Carbon Footprint, MSF slash MED, Simple to Operate Plant, Pretreatment is Simple, capable of producing high purity water. MSF plant could be constructed for higher capacity only. Disadvantages of SWRO process, SWRO, membrane fouling, extensive pretreatment required, MSF. MED, higher energy requirement, lower water recovery. Thank you for watching this video.